Hello everyone, welcome to this video in the series all about arithmetic operations. Today we will be focusing on solving distance questions. Let's begin by reading a short summary of what to expect when you do distance questions and how we should be approaching them. Questions that involve distance may involve three types of values. Speed, distance, and time. These are all connected to the formula speed equals distance divided by time. This equation only works when matching units are used. For example, speed cannot be in kilometers slash minutes and time in hours. Normally, kilometers and hours are the units used, but this can be different depending on the scope of the question. You'll probably come across a few of these questions from time to time, as they're usually in the form of people competing in a running race, or someone traveling from one point to another location. If the word problem involves something along the lines of how long, how fast, or how far, it's probably a distance question. So usually in these questions, we abbreviate distance, D, S for speed, or velocity, or rate, and T for time. There are some formulas that you need to remember before we do these types of questions. An easy way of remembering them would be this triangle. We put the D on top, the S on the left, and T on the right. So when we look at this triangle, we know speed equals distance over time, as seen above here. And we can see speed equals distance times time, because if it's speed, then it's D over T. If we take out the speed, we can see it's D over T right here. Using the same thing, when we're trying to find out what time is, we know it's D over S. So time equals D over S. And finally, when we're trying to find distance, it's a little bit different because S and T is in the same area. And this represents distance equals S times T. So let's uh, do a little example just to get the hang of it. Let's say there's a train and it moves at the speed of 80 kilometers an hour. It has traveled 240 kilometers. How long has the train been running for? So to do this, we first need to figure out what we're looking at. Are we looking for time, distance, or speed? So we know how long has the train been running for. In this case, will be time. So we'll be using the distance over speed formula. So we know the speed is 80 kilometers an hour, and we know the distance it's traveled so far is 240. So in order to solve this, all we need to do is Replace the distance with the value 240 kilometers. And then we put it over speed, which is 80 kilometers per hour. And then we do simple fraction. We know 8 divided by 24 is 3. So we get 3. So now we can answer how long has the train been running for? It has been running for 3 hours. And it's that simple. Okay, let's see if we can do some examples given by the sheet. So let's try an example here. Jim is traveling by car from town A to town B to attend a wedding. The total distance between the two towns is 480 kilometers. Jim initially travels at a speed of 80 kilometers an hour for 180 minutes. Then he takes a break and takes a nap for one hour. 
When he wakes up, he realizes that he only has three hours to get to the wedding. At what speed must Jim travel to arrive at the wedding just on time, not too late and not too early? So, firstly, we need to figure out what exactly are we looking for. Well, there are three things we need to find out in order to do this question. Number one, we need to figure out how far has Jim traveled. Then we need to figure out how far does Jim have left. And finally, we need to figure out the speed of which Jim has to go to arrive exactly in three hours. So if we visualize this on a little graph, we know town A to town B is around 480 kilometers. We know he initially travels at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour for 180 minutes. Using the formula, let's draw the triangle. We know distance is on top, S is on the left, and T is on the right. Using the formula, we know that we're currently looking for distance. So we know distance is speed times time. So if we know that we're going 60 kilometers per hour at 180 minutes. Firstly, we need to convert the minutes into hours. We know that 60 minutes in an hour, so we it should be about three hours. So if it's going at 60 kilometers at three hours, then using a simple 60 times three, zero, 18. He has already traveled 180 kilometers. It's around maybe here. He has 480 minus 100 left. So that's 300 kilometers left. Now, he only has three hours to get to wedding. So we're looking at speed here. We know the speed formula is S is distance over time. So we know the distance would be around 300 over, we know the time would be three hours so if we get rid of the three, that would be one, one. So we need to go around 100 kilometers per hour. Therefore, the answer would be 100 kilometers per hour, therefore C. So this is how to solve distance questions. I hope that helped a lot guys and don't forget to remember this triangle because it will help a lot in solving these kinds of questions. Anyway, I hope that you learned something and thank you for listening. Bye!